Not only will you not see them, but neither will Buck. Now, our problem is, is we've got to figure some way to keep Buck out of his apartment for at least two hours. Uh, Doctor, you are they'll thrive. Uh, all you need is the right kind of plant food. I see. Oh, hi, Bob. Oh, hi. That was the sneakiest thing I have ever seen. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. But at least now we know he won't be in his apartment for a few hours, don't we? Mm-hmm. He may not show up at all. <laughs> Data for day 13 assimilated. Okay, let's finish up then. Implantation completed. Good, we're finished. You okay? I told you I've done this dozens of times. I'm used to it. I certainly don't need to be chaperoned by Captain Rogers. All we're asking you to do is to bring Buck back to his apartment when your assignment's completed. Think of it as a favor to the directorate, one for which we'd be glad to pay you generously. Look, Colonel, I'm a government courier, not a... That's all we're asking. Besides, I think you'd enjoy Buck's company. I understand from um, your personnel file that you used to work at the Earth Archives, and you have an interest in history, so you and Buck should have a lot to talk about. What, Captain Rogers is an historian? Yes, in a manner of speaking. Let me explain. All set. Good. Miss Merrick, you'll be escorted to the security director at headquarters by two of that men. Do you agree to bring them back to the apartment? Well, she was a little 